No one today can really get a full idea of what it was like to live surrounded by dinosaurs. While today we know that some animals like killer whales, alligators, lions, and other big predators can be threatening to us humans, none of them can compare to the danger that dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals represented. Today we're going to be looking at 10 animals that were scarier than dinosaurs, however. You'll realize that dinosaurs were harmless and perhaps even friendly compared to the beasts I'm going to show you today. I'll also talk about some of the movies that fed us ideas of what these animals were like, and I'll compare those ideas to actual facts that will make you understand how real-life creatures were in fact a bit scarier than what we see on the screen. Let's be honest here, some of these creatures belong in a game like Monster Hunter with how terrifying they can be. Stay tuned to number one to find out about an animal that you'll be thankful to know it's gone extinct. Number 10. Arthropleura. I'm gonna start with an animal that was not as big as a dinosaur. In fact, it wasn't even a carnivore, but I'm sure you'd be quite scared and probably a bit gross out if you were to encounter it today. And I'm pretty sure you'd rather see a dinosaur instead of this animal. The Arthropleura was a millipede that could reach lengths of up to 2.5 meters, which means if it were to stand on the lower end of its thousand feet, it would be higher than a Christmas tree. The Arthropleura is known to be the largest invertebrate of all time. With such an aspect, I doubt any predators would want to mess with it. Number 9. Dunkleosteus. Ugh, even the name sounds scary already. If you're wondering what this animal looked like, let me start out by pointing that Dunkleosteus was indeed a fish. That may not sound scary, but of course we're not talking about a cute tropical fish or even a shark like the one from Jaws. In fact, this thing actually ate sharks like Jaws. This prehistoric fish was 33 feet long, which means it was almost twice as long as the height of a giraffe from its head to its feet. However, what makes this animal threatening is not only its size, but also its sharp teeth. And also, they're technically not teeth. They're sharp bone in its jaw that kept growing continuously, up until a point where the edges would become so sharp they rubbed together against each other. These were useful tools to pierce and chew on the prey. This fish was as heavy as a hippopotamus, and could easily snatch its prey in less than a second. Number 8. Jekyllopterus. The Jekyllopterus was an aquatic arthropod. The best way to explain it is by pointing out that some people call it a giant sea scorpion and already that's horrifying enough. I mean, can you picture that? Scorpions are scary already. I don't want to imagine what it would be like to come face to face with a giant one in the middle of the ocean. It's an experience that would definitely keep me away from the waters for good. The name Jekyllopterus comes from Otto Jekyll, a German paleontologist who was the first one to describe the species. Although its maximum size has not been confirmed, some experts believe the largest Jekyllopterus could have reached a length of up to 2.5 meters, making it taller than humans if it were to stand. This animal is believed to have lived in fresh water, making it a threat to other arthropods and smaller fish. Poor animals didn't stand a chance against this huge creature. Number 7. Helicoprion. And here's another fish on our list, or maybe not. One of the craziest facts about the Helicoprion is that no one has been able to properly classify it and associate it to the animal groups we have today. We can say it's a fish because it lived in the water, but paleontologists didn't have enough information to categorize it. Its teeth worked like a circular blade. Without any proper teeth in the upper jaw, this creature would gum and bite at you at the same time. That's pretty gross and scary. The lower teeth were sharp, so it's safe to assume that the Helicoprion was a carnivore. What scientists can't figure out yet is whether it fed on small or big animals. They can only speculate as they still haven't found any remains of a skull to properly figure out what its diet was. One thing is for sure though, that odd looking jaw is more than enough to scare us all if we were to encounter it in the ocean today. Number 6. Liopleridon. Plesiosaurs and dinosaurs are two different groups of animals. Since they both disappeared around the same time, a lot of people think of them as part of the same family, but they're not. And guess what? The plesiosaur I have for you today is definitely one you want to avoid at all costs. The Liopleurodon, or the Liopleurodon. Its name comes from the Greek, and it means a smooth-sided tooth. This beast was as heavy as your car and at least half as long as a bowling lane. A quarter of its body was made out of its skull, filled with plenty of razor-sharp teeth. Its fossils also suggest that the monster was a great swimmer, being able to move at high speeds and reach its prey. It's also believed that Liopleurodon was able to use its nostrils to scan the water and identify where certain smells were coming from. I'd definitely say out of the water if this animal was still alive. Number 5. 
Sarkasuchus. Have you ever been on trips down the swamp wondering when a crocodile will pop out for food? It's definitely crossed my mind when I'm around muddy areas, and I know for sure I don't want to come across any of these animals. Back in prehistoric times, there was such an animal, very similar but more threatening than the crocs we know of today. The Sarkasuchus. Some people call it the Super Croc, and for a good reason. It was a very distant relative of crocodiles, but very different in size. The Sarkasuchus was about twice the size of the largest crocodiles we know of today. This beast was so huge that it could easily take on any dinosaur that wanted to mess around. It almost seems like there was almost nothing that its 1.8 meter long skull couldn't take. Are you afraid of crocodiles? Well, imagine getting close to the Super Croc. Number 4. Mazasaurus. If you watch Jurassic World, you're probably familiar with the Mazasaur. It's that one monster that jumps out of the water like a killer whale would do at SeaWorld and eat a great white shark. Now again, I have to mention the Mazasaur were not aquatic dinosaurs, they were a totally different species. The most threatening aspect of a Mazasaur is the size. They could reach a size of up to 17 feet long, which is equivalent to three times the size of your fridge. So yes, the Mazasaur in Jurassic World was heavily exaggerated. That thing was bigger than a Megalodon, I think. Although their vision and their smell were not as developed as other creatures at the time, they were still considered dangerous. They had fins that allowed them to easily move through the water and prey on whatever they set their poor eyes on. The first fossils of a Mazasaur were found in the Netherlands in 1764, and the most recent were also found in the Netherlands in 2015, by a 14-year-old paleontologist and his father. The fossil was named Lars, after the name of its finder. Wouldn't it be cool to find a prehistoric fossil in your backyard? Probably not, because then science would have to excavate your house, maybe. Number 3. Megalodon. Ah yes, probably the most popular creature on this list and the one that Hollywood has really exploited the crud out of. I'm sure you already heard about the Megalodon by now, thanks to the inventions of the film industry. But now it's time to separate truth from fiction and find out some interesting and perhaps scary facts about this monster. The Megalodon is the largest shark ever known. Like other creatures on this list, its name also comes from the Greek and meaning is Big Tooth. That alone can help you start picturing the magnitude of the jaws of this kind of shark. Today the largest shark alive is the white shark, which can grow as long as 20 feet and weigh as much as 7,000 pounds. But the Megalodon was three times that size and could reach at least 15 times that weight. It was unbelievably long and heavy. The lifetime of the Megalodon indicates that it possibly interacted with some of the animals we know today, such as some porpoises, turtles, and even whales. It must have been scary for these kinds of animals to come face to face with this massive predator. Now it's time for the day's best pick. I've been talking a lot about prehistoric creatures and I have mentioned some of the films that give us an idea of what it would be like to run into them. All of this has made me think about what would happen if I were to be stranded in the middle of the ocean and come face to face with one of these monsters. Would I stand a chance? Would you stand a chance? The answer, no. One of the animals I chose to end this list has really got me thinking about this stuff. It's a sea monster that was discovered about six years ago. But before I present it to you, there's another creature that was scary, but this one lived out of the water, in the skies. Number two, Quetzalcoatlus. With a name that sounds like an Aztec deity, which in fact is the source of its name, the Quetzalcoatlus was a flying creature. If you're a huge fan of Jurassic Park and other films about prehistoric creatures, you probably know about the pterosaurs. And once again, the pterosaurs are not dinosaurs. Please don't get them mixed up, that makes them mad. The word pterosaurus literally translates to flying lizard, and that is the family from which the Quetzalcoatlus came from. So now you're probably wondering, what made this flying lizard so scary compared to the other creatures ever? Well, when it spread its wings, it's possible that the animal reached a length of 35 feet. That's about the same height as a telephone pole. Some earlier studies actually claimed that its length could be as wide as 60 feet, and that's insane to say the least. It was also quite heavy. Although scientists haven't been able to determine a precise number, they believe it could weigh somewhere between 450 to 500 pounds. That's almost as heavy as a regular pig. Imagine a huge lizard flying in circles around you like that. Now, just imagine lots of them. The prehistoric times sound like a nightmare to me. Their limbs and bone structure suggest that they spent a lot of time on land, though. While all this info sounds scary, it seems like the Quetzalcoatlus was not a real threat to humans. Studies claim that their diet consisted of small animals living on land and near small streams. 
I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Ladder Auction the idea of the Thalatter Archon is crazy because this creature was just recently discovered, back in 2010. That's the most recent discovery in terms of prehistoric animals, which makes me think about what other fossils might be out there that we haven't discovered yet. Like most animals on this list, the Thalatter Archon used to live in the water. Just like how pterosaurs were known as flying lizards, the ichthyosaurs were known as the swimming lizards. With a body as large as 28 feet in length and a thin but threatening set of teeth, this beast could easily eat any animal of the same size. Its eating style is comparable to that of modern day orcas. While most ichthyosaurs were found in Europe, the Thalata Archon was found in Nevada, USA back in 2010, and formally introduced to the world in 2013. This discovery is currently leading the way in modern studies of marine animals that are able to eat other animals of a similar size. And there you have it, 10 animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. Which creature was the scariest for you? Do you think there are other creatures out there that we haven't discovered yet? Let us know in the comment section down below. Have a good day, everybody.